Hello world, all my kings, queens, and zooligans that's out there taking care of their business. Thank you for tapping in. As always, it's appreciated. And I pray that everybody is doing better than well and finding innovative ways to keep it moving upwards in the right direction and also helping those around them to be better. My name is Onaje Gangsta Boy Barbie. Born and raised in Southern California, San Diego, in the community of Skyline, in the city of Southeast. Before I go too far, got to give a shout out to the father. Make sure we bring him in the building because two or more uh, the speaking on his name is called church. So let's have some. Thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to come together in your name. May you continue to Help us, guide us, build us to be stronger than ever. For these times that we're living in is hard. And we need your love and your structure, Lord Father. And uh, I, I beg that you show everybody who's tapping in right now signs that you are alive and you are in them. And you are here to help and assist them in all that they go through, good, bad, and the ugly, Lord Father. Thank you for every breath we breathe, Lord Father, for the stuff that we forget about that we take for granted, Lord Father. Please bless my friends, my family, my foes, and my enemies, Lord Father, and, and forgive us for all our sins. In your name, all things is possible. Amen. Today, I want to talk about one of my loved ones, a so-called rival, so-called enemy from Lincoln Park Bloods that I deem to be one of my real ones that I love and respect to the fullest and utmost. Gangsta D from Lincoln Park. Oh man, you know, today is Bubba Chicks, Chach Nitty, Big Hollywood, Dutch Nitty, Baby Cow, Stevie Bliss, Blood, you know what I mean? All Park Boys. Lost in the name of this turf shit, Park Boy D.I.P., Logan Avenue shit. Yeah, today's y'all. You know what I mean? Today's like a park day. It's our birthday, you know, the rebirth. You know what I mean? Of the Park Boys, you know? Generation to generation, you know? When we pass it down, give it up, give it back, you know, pay homage, all the shit. Now that y'all been formally introduced to one of the realest dudes in Southeast San Diego that the game had never produced, Allow me to let you know some of the things that he did that made me respect and love him. One of the first things, homeboy, that you did, man, that, that made me want to even be associated with you and around you um, was when I ran into you in Juvenile Hall. This is this is after we didn't been in Campo. This is after I met you in Unit Five Hundred. Um, you was in Juvenile Hall. You was in One Thousand or Twelve Hundred. I mean, excuse me, Fourteen Hundred. And uh, I don't know where I ran into you. If it was there, I was CYA where you told me the story on how you got there. And uh, man, this was one of the gangster stories, man. At this time. <laughs> Now, remember, we kids, you know, teenagers, 14, 15. I was. And uh, T Mighty, that's his road dog, was. Um, I pray that our relationship is still going strong, man. But so T Mighty was in juvenile hall. Somehow, he got Gangsta E. Gangsta E had him put in a dental request and Juvenile Hall, when they take you to the dentist, I don't know how the dentist was in a dip, if that was by request or whatever, but it was. So they had a dental, dental office in a dip. 
At Juvenile Hall, police took T. Mighty to the dentist. <laughs> and Gangsta E broke him out. Helped him escape, man. You know what I'm saying? And got him away. You know what I'm saying? So, anyhow, that's how he ended up in CYA. And when he told me that story, you know what I'm saying? Just for me, homie, that's what real homies do. You know what I'm saying? We lawless, you know? When when you on a when you on a on a on a, on, a, on, a, on being a gangster, you know what I'm saying? It's to the fullest and utmost, you know what I'm saying? And breaking out your homeboy out of jail. You know what I'm saying? They did it the, they did it the raw way. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if straps was involved in all that. I kinda it was, it was so long ago, man. Remember this stuff is over 20, 30 years, man, 30 years ago. So I can't remember um, all the insights of it, but it was gangster, and I know it, 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 he went to CYA for it. Both of them did. T-Mighty went to CYA too. You know what I'm saying? So anyhow, fast forward to 1994. We and see SRCC together. Now, mind you, I'm young. He's young. And in San Diego, during my times of being on the streets gang banging and inside of them stoops, bloods ran it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and rather Leaport, Brims, Emerald, we kind of came together in Juvenile Hall too. You know what I'm saying? Now, now in Campo, it might get a little funky, but it was more like head up phase. You know what I'm saying? We still had substance to this little thing of ours. You know what I mean? And and, and one of the things back then uh, was when the homies got to doing anything anywhere close to set tripping on each other, they'd say, man, you're acting like a rip. Now, this ain't no disrespect to the Crip Corps, but the reason why we would say that is because as far back as we can remember, Crips were funking with Crips. They didn't have no substance. It was gone. The love for this little thing of ours in which we, we, we put our lives on the line for, right? And we still had that. So we would say stuff like that, man, and you know, uh, you know, it, it, we'll find our way back to the stronghold. You know what I'm saying? And then it'd be head up phase. You got to go handle your business. You know what I mean? And your homies would be there. They homies would be there. And boom, and it'd be a done dada. So um, when I hit CYA, for me, now everybody try to act like the super gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Like they super, no fear. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't even going to lie to you. Uh, yeah, they was banging. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to be around a bunch of Crips or some more rivals that's not active, but then it's another thing to be around them that's active. And you got to remember, this is what I want to say. Back then, back this 1994, the one thing I can give LA, Bloods, Pyroos, Crips, Browns, Lanes, all that, is the fact that they love it because they it, 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 it's, it's born and bred it in their city, so they bang it a little tougher, especially the ones that's really active and really with it. You know what I'm saying? The Hoovers. And so it's a different story when you is on the, on, on the short end and they on the big end and they actively, you know what I'm saying, gang bang it. You know what I mean? So to say I was shook up, is 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 being is being nice, you know what I mean. Now, would I go out like a buzzer? No, I was taught different. I was bred different, and within me, on the inside of me, is different. But would I? Did I want nothing to not happen? Of course, <laughs> of course, because I knew if it did, it wouldn't be pretty, right? So. He was on Drake or Patola or something, and I was on Cabrillo, so we really didn't have action at intermingling. Um, we worked in a kitchen, so during that time, we was able to holler a little bit. Bam. Now, while you in SRCC, uh, you know, 
They had OH clothes. They had uh, Paso Robles. They had Nellis. They had uh, 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 Ventura. And so, you know, we all talking whatnot. And OH clothes was where the kids was. You know what I'm saying? That was my first. I wanted to go there. You know what I'm saying? Nellis was the one that nobody wanted to go to. You wanted to go to Ventura, OH clothes, and Paso Robles first. You know what I'm saying? And Nellis, they called Nellis a time bomb. You know what I'm saying? You go there with three months and get out in five years. So, um, and they called it gladiator school. So Nellis was where you didn't want to go to if you wanted to, one, get out, and, and two, uh, you know, being on the short end, um, you know, not get hurt, man, not get ran through. You know what I'm saying? So anyhow, they gave me CRC. I mean, excuse me, they gave me Nellis. <laughs> they gave me Nellis, right? So immediately when you when they say, hey, man, you going to Nellis, who's what? Okay, now, bam, got to get my mind state and my heart and everything got to get in the right place. You know what I'm saying? We buffing, we buffing, we talking to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We pumping ourselves up, all that kind of stuff. Now, for me, the fear of the unknown is is what kind of get me more than anything. You know what I'm saying? You're hearing the stories, and you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And so you, you don't know until you get there. When I get there, I get to Truman College. Uh, Truman College. And uh, Gangsta E is there. Boy, I was happy to see you home, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, listen. I was happy to run into somebody I knew from Southeast San Diego was a blood and was, was my homeboy that we was good with and I knew was a gangster. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it 100. So, immediately, that gives you a little bit more, you know, oomph to your gangsterism. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not to go on some crashing out, but on some standing tall, you know what I'm saying? And, and regardless, because, you know, gang of Crips there, man. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to go to no cottage, all Crips, and then or even, you know, all Crips and a couple LA Bloods, and you never know if they some funny style ones or some cool ones, you know what I'm saying? Gangsters, you never know, right? So, I get the Truman, gangster, he's there, bam, I'm so okay. Now, I want to say to you, immediately, right then, is where he took me up under his wing, so to speak, man. He made sure that I was good, looked out for me, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and didn't set trip on me. Now, not to say that he didn't have, eh, some, yeah, it's, some days, he'll be kind of weird with some of the shit that he might do or say, you know, because he's from Lincoln, I'm from Skyline, we're hearing about the shit going on out there. So it's kind of like a conflict of interest. But I have to say, he held it together. I held it together. We held it together. You know what I'm saying? Hard enough, strong enough for us to um, coexist and, and stay solid. On some 619, you know what I mean? And like I said before, he's older than me, man. So he's like a big brother to me. Now, y'all can say what you want on the streets. On the streets is something else, man. But you don't really get to know somebody. I'm talking about their true self. Until you're in jail with them. That's when you're going to know what's happening. You're going to know what, who, who, what, you know what I mean? And so, uh, he went to Adams College. Now, Adams Cottage, they over there uh, marching and some more stuff, right? But if you go over there, you got action at getting out. You know what I'm saying? They letting them out. So he chose to go there, asked me to come over there with him. I said, I'm on my way. When I get there with him, love, homie. He love, homie. You know what I'm saying? Um, now... Me, I would do, I would start going to, it was a, it was a bomb and pie there named Devious from neighborhood pie 
And I would have to say that Devious was indeed a set tripper. And he was getting in my head. But then, Gangsta E would do shit like, you know, the Pyro Love, right? You know, Skyline was in the song. You know, that was something that we was proud of. You know what I mean? Being from Skyline. And uh, being at the L.A., homies would be like, me from Skyline, man. I thought y'all was in L.A., man. How much we hear about y'all? You big homies be speaking on you with the wop. You know what I'm saying? It kind of made a young G feel proud to bang and represent it. But then G, you against he would say, shit, oh, man, they talking about this is Skyline in LA. This is Skyline in LA. You know what I'm saying? Next you know, we got to run up on these LA homies and say, man, this is Skyline in LA. No, no, they talking about y'all. And I'd be like, see? Woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? And you know, so that's the little hating that he would do on the slide. You know what I'm saying? But personally, man to man or kid to kid, that he he still he still he still took care of me. He still looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? If there was any type of phone, anything like that, he was right there. You know what I'm saying? And so um I love you for that. I love you for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. I, I never told you this to your face. I never talked to you about it, but but now that we G's and we vets in this game, homie, I really appreciate that during my time of need, homie, when we was going through the system and representing and keeping it funky for the San Diego thing, right? Now, we end up going to the hall. I got, I met, so when, he, listen, some LA dudes, uh, I think dude was a black Mexican or something, Anyway, I seen dude, um, the, 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 the CO's bathroom was in our bathroom, right? And I had seen when a female staff went in there, dudes went, they, they took out one of the screws in the hole for the doorknob. And you was able to look in there, you know what I'm saying? And see what was happening. So uh, we wasn't even in school yet. We didn't even have our what's the names? Uh, 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 um, uh, um, our classes. We didn't have our classes yet, so we in the building. We we we. You know what I'm saying? We there all day. After me seeing them, uh, I ran up on the door and Gangsta he was in the bathroom. I was like, look, look. You know what I'm saying? Now the thing is, when we looked, was nobody in there. I was just trying to look. He was just trying to look just to see if we can see anything, right? But. Because nobody was in there, the light wasn't known, it was darkness and we couldn't see nothing. Now, I believe, I don't know, that they seen us do this. When I say them, I want to say the, uh, the black Mexican or whatever. And you might have been this month, but I don't know. Either way, they, I guess they felt like the spot was blue and they, they snitched on us, man. They told them that we did it. I, <laughs> bam! A female uh, guard... Uh, put us on blast, did us foul in the foulest way we can be done, had us all naked in the robe, our, 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 our penises wasn't hard or nothing, you know what I'm saying? And he was clowning, you know what I'm saying? It was, uh, it was awful. We I still remember that like it was just a thing on me. All she did was foul. <laughs> and then they took us all to the hole. You know what I'm saying? We ended up standing up in the hole for what was it, three, four month program? Anyways, man, um, we went to the hole, was up in the hole doing a thing. T Mighty ended up coming to the hole because they had shot him to all Mexican cottage. And they was over there, you know, taking all your stuff, you getting packages and stuff like that. And them doing that to T Mighty. T Mighty take off. Now he's in the hole with us. And, uh, um, Man, we was like I say, man, because of your presence, man, T Mighty's presence, man, uh, Gangsta Ben was in the hole with us. It just made everything better. You know what I'm saying? It could have been worse, wrong. It was bad, but it could have been worse for me. I don't know how it was for you, man, but it, for, for me, it could have been worse. But before, before, before I go too far, man, you and I used to have conversations about one of your homeboys that's resting in peace. Big love, homie. I pray that he made it to the heavenly gates, man. But, and, and this is from me to you. You know what I'm talking about. 
You used to look me in my eyes and you would say, baby, I was baby boo boo then. Baby boo boo. Y'all didn't do that. We did that. That was friendly fire, right? And I wouldn't believe him. I was so skyline, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was hating like he was hating on this Pablo love shit that he didn't want us to, 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 to get our trophy, right? And I think about that, homeboy, because it comes up now, often. And so it makes me think about the eye contact that you would give me. And you know what, homie? I believe you. And what's cold about that is, if that's true, a lot of shit, man, that went wrong under false pretenses. And now, look at us. We're doing a dishonorable um, thing for this thing of ours, bro. We done crashed the substance for this familia. Now, we acting like ribs to the fullest and utmost under false pretenses. That hurts my heart, homie. Fast forward. Now we in Paso Robles. No, I'm on the bus. No, you know what? No, I end up finishing the program in the hole. And they end up sending me to all Crip Cottage. Uh, one of my fears. I didn't want to go, you know what I'm saying? I, didn't, I definitely didn't want to go to no all Crip Cottage, right? And I had to face my fucking fear, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing about life, homie. The things that you fear, usually, it will come and you would have to face it. You either going to stand or you going to fall or bend or break. And uh, I faced my fear, man. That's one of the things I would always do. Um, so thank you, God, man. And I came out of that unscathed. Now, we on the Great Goose. They didn't even tell me. And we on our way to Paso Robles. The whole time I'm riding on the Great Goose, I'm like, damn, man, where, where, where? I, I didn't even know where I was going. Right? And I'm saying where I'm going, you know what I'm saying? You're thinking about, you know, how it's going to be when you get there. What yard you going to land on? Who's on the yard? Is it going to be like how it was right here where I just had to fight 20 people? You know what I'm saying? What, 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 what's happening? As soon as I come through the door, gangsta man on the window. What's up, blood? You know what I'm saying? Smiling shit. Ah, oh, homie. <sighs> Man, I'm at ease now. I'm at ease on me. I knew that I had a gangster that I was going to be there with. So I knew that I was straight. You know what I'm saying? I was going to be straighter regardless, but now I'm straighter. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? So now, um, he went to a different cottage. I went to Cayucas. How either way, we all up there together. YP was up there. Shout out to YP. Shout out to Damo. He was up there. Um, uh, 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 Nelly Rue was up there. Uh, you know, it was a couple. It wasn't thick though. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we we still we still kept it together. Big Ben was up there. Shout out Big Ben, man. I love you, man. I miss you, man. Like crazy, man. I've been thinking about you, man, so much that. You know, and, and my boy Gang Steve, he hit me up, man. Even on my messenger, bro, and left me a message about Big Ben, bro. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that love, homie, because you know what it was. You know what I mean? And so anyway, that's that love I'm speaking of. That's the stuff that we got to reciprocate, throw it back out there and find ways, homie, because now we leaders, we G's, and we know better, homie. You know what I'm saying? And so everybody want to act like it's a done deal. It ain't no done deal. You know what I'm saying? We can shape and mold and, and redirect this shit back to what it's supposed to be and give us some substance, homie, because without substance, well, then what are we doing this shit for? 
What is the little homies doing it for? You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was, it was proud, you know what I mean? To, to be a part of this little thing of ours. You know what I'm saying? And back then, no matter what, when we came through and it was other homies, even the police and everybody respected it, homie, because when we fell through, as long as you were solid, like ass cheeks, homie, we came together, homie. You know what I'm saying? And it was a different protocol, homie. It was love, respect, honor, you know? Things that, that any alumni, homie, must have in order to thrive, homie. Now look at us, homie. We're taking away our kings and queens and, 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 and leaving our uh, babies to be bastards and abandoned and orphaned. You know what I'm talking about? When that's not part of the game, homie. That ain't part of this system, homie. And we can get back to that, and we got to find a way. We can't just keep walking around being the blind, leading the blind, acting like we ain't seeing what's going on. When nigga, when you know what's happening. That. Forget what these people talking about, talking about we different. No, we ain't different. You got the Army, the Navy, the Marines, and the Air Force, homie. And when it's time, they come together and handle their business for one thing, one purpose, one calling. And that's what we is, homie. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, you know me, man, I'm getting to boy, you know how I get out, man. It hurts my heart, like I said, especially because you and I know the son of false pretenses. Then, but that was the kickoff, and the kickoff is everything. Hmm? Anyway, one more thing. And this is how you know it's some real love, homie. Because I'm going to tell you the last thing that you did. Matter of fact, it's a couple of things. Matter of fact, you was at the rim. That, it wasn't a rim picnic. It was a sandbox picnic. Whatever it's called in Ocean View. You was there when I, I pushed up on you. You know what I'm saying? All the four or five park homies, Godfather, and all of them, they had their little uh, booth up, whatever it is, barbecuing. But, you know, I can't stay confined in one spot on the streets, man. There's pretty girls around here. You know what I'm talking about? I, I was moving and grooving. And I pulled up on gay steez over there with the lean pork boys. Boy, you had that pretty little ride. I think it was the white one, man, sitting on the grass, man, looking funky. Anyway. Greeted me with some love, respect. That's what I'm saying, homie. D d man. <laughs> when you a gangster, gangsters recognize gangsters. Period. Care where you from. And they always gonna give you that love. And you gonna always give it back no matter where you at. But. No. We, that got funky too. <laughs> <laughs> that funky boy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, no. And he always, that's what I'm saying, man. He always made sure that, man, I was secured, homie. And I was able to get in and get out, homie, without a blemish. You know what I'm talking about? And that's the love I'm speaking of. Uh, we got to find a way to give that to those that we love. You know what I'm saying? Because I love what you love. Because I love you, homeboy. Now, check this out. Penitentiary, Donovan, three yard. Shout out to Joe Ryder, gangster. I ain't spoke nothing but body five words to him if that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I got love for you just because of the way you carried yourself. Now, I separated the car, homie. The homies was hanging at, at they, when I got there, they was at building 11, hanging at that bench. When I got there, nah, we up here, we start hanging at the basketball court. But the minute I get into it with the gangster car, eight tray gangster, four tray gangster, gangster disciples, I don't know why they let them in their car, but they did. Five tray gangsters, all that. Five travel line. Anyway, I get into it with them about some money. And the minute I did that, Guess who was the first person up there checking in on me with the Ling of Porsters and, and, and the Brims and the Ambrose behind him? Can't see. Can't see. <laughs> G-Boy. 
But we, he was a little weird at the time. I he gangsta and I'm gangsta boy. I'm baby boo and I'm gangsta boy. So that shows you the level of uh, of uh, prosperity that we come through. You know what I'm saying in regard to to to, to you know stand solid. Uh, you straight? You good? Let me know, homie. We right here. That's what I'm saying. And I had separated the car. I bet you his homie probably didn't bring shit that scouting niggas. I'm saying. Here. But that's what I'm talking about, bro. I, I love you, big homie. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for always being down and dedicated for your boy, homie. Trust me, man. It is appreciated. And one more thing before I go. Now, this is really your business. And this might piss you off by me speaking on it. But I got to because it's just another point that I'm trying to make as far as us being family relatives and need to get back to some substance okay some foundation his pop started off real poor i can't say he was the only one but he's one of the most definitely originators and the fact that that's true is like bro that's your family oh pharaoh is your family by birthright because he was a gangster, and I don't know why he's from Lincoln, mom's relatives, I don't know. That's something, you know, that's not my business. But, oh, Pharrell Pork was his birthright. So that's family. That's family. And, 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 and. So anyway, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just a. I'm just, a, I just love, homie, our calls, homie. You know what I'm saying? I love being a part of this. Uh, I, I did at the time love putting my life on the line in regards to this uh, little thing of ours and our alumni. You know what I'm saying? The fact that we were different and had uh, uh, different ideals and rules and regulations about this little thing of ours, homie. I had really loved and adored, homie, and it was a beautiful thing uh, uh, to be worthy, to be able to be a part of something so rich in value. You know, if, if we was a stock at that time, man, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, worth a whole lot, man, the value of it. But now the stock done plummeted, man, because there is nothing substantial about it. Anyway, I'm going I'm to I'm let it go on that note, man. Uh, again, shout out to my homeboy, Gangsta from Lincoln Park Bloods, homie. Uh, thank you for always being a soldier for your boy, homie. Looking out for your boy, homie. Much appreciated, homie. And you keep doing your thing, man. I tell you, man, from far away, I'm proud of the position that you took and you have. And I'm proud to see the man that you become, homie. I tell you, some of that shit had to rub off on me, homie, because now, <laughs> you know what's up. With that being said, man, hit me up on Instagram, man. Uh, uh, Planet Zoo 619. Hit me up on Facebook, Onage Barbie. And uh, make sure y'all go out there and buy that book or, or listen to it, man. It's on Audible, you know what I'm saying? Five Star General, Volume 1. Uh, 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 Cali Bangin', Five Star General, Street Marine. You know what I'm saying? Available on all platforms, man. And uh, how about your boy, man? Peace.